And let's shift focus over to Syria now. Syria is undertaking the massive task of rebuilding the country. It has been left devastated after several long years of assault, airstrikes and bombings. We get you a report from Harasta, a town that was recaptured by the Syrian forces four months ago. Of the 250,000 people who once resided here, only 15,000 remain. While some fled the town, others were killed. In Harasta, houses, industrial complexes and people have all been pulverized. This town located outside Damascus, was taken hostage by the armed rebels for almost five years. The town was recaptured by Syrian forces in March. The assault lasted for almost a week. With the assault over, families have begun trickling back into their homeland. Some of their homes survived, but there are others who aren't as lucky. Meet 45-year-old Hassan. He chose to remain in Harasta through the rebels' reign. The former petrol station worker now transports rocks and other materials in his pickup truck. This is the only work in Harasta that pays right now. Most of the houses in this city have been reduced to their skeletons. They stand like massive honeycombs overlooking the dusty streets. 50-year-old Naman had fled to Altal in 2012. He could hardly contain himself when he found his house is still standing. I was shocked to see most of the building had collapsed. It is true that my house is devastated compared to before, but I am happy it still stands. Whatever happens, it is still my house and it is very dear to me. All the locals are now busy in trying to bring their city back to how it was. Demolition and reconstruction is on in full swing. Locals are engaged in removing rubble and debris from the houses which is then dumped onto the main street. The Public Works Ministry transports it to a local dump. The debris is then segregated and recycled into cement with the hope that this time it will last longer that it will make homes and offices that won't have to suffer the fates of the ones that stood before them. Bureau Report, Weon.